Guys, welcome back. Today we have a very simple, low intensity routine. That's right, it's simple and it's low in intensity. The reason being many of us find it difficult to even slot the time or to really build up the energy to get through a workout sometimes. Totally normal, it happens to me. I'm sure it's happened to you. So I'm gonna take you through six different movements today and I don't want you to think about it as a workout. Just quality movement to break up your day. Let's get started. Here we go with groiners. Meet me on the floor. I have my right leg forward, left knee is down. I'm gonna bring my hands to the floor and I'm just gonna rock my weight forward and back. We're gonna hang out here for 30 seconds. We'll start the timer in three, two, and begin. Just rocking back and forth for 30 seconds. And just give yourself an opportunity to check in with your body and see how your hips are feeling, especially if you've been sitting in a chair, you've been on your Zoom meetings, you've been taking care of the kids, working, handling other responsibilities around the house or on the road if you're able to safely be outside. And we're just focusing on that. Let's switch sides. Focusing on our movement. I love this stretch because it's, it's very low cost. Doesn't take a lot of energy and anybody can do it as long as you can get into this position. And of course, if you're at home and you need to modify the position that I'm in now, you can totally do that as well. No problem, this is for you. So let's get you in the positions that are going to have the best effect. Two, one, awesome. Let's go back to the right side. And the only thing that's gonna change is I'm gonna drop my right elbow down and then reach for the ceiling. And we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Adding this thoracic rotation element to the groiner stretch. It's a great way to target the lower body and the upper body together. Good, let's switch sides. Let's try the other side. Three, two, one, and begin. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. Next, we're gonna lay on our stomach and we're gonna do what are called arm haulers. So just keeping my chin off the mat, I'm gonna lift my arms up and I'm gonna pull them down, elbows down towards my back pockets. I'm gonna reach forward and down. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Ready and begin. You'll feel tension in your core, in your low back, your hamstrings, your upper back and shoulders. This is a good one to help reset and to fire up those muscles that could relax and have tension in them when we're in seated positions on our phones, on the computer, whatever it is. Okay, nice guys, go ahead and take a little breather. Next, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep our arms bent in this 45 degree angle and I'm going to try and lift my elbows up as high as possible, and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Ready and begin. Come back down, reset the shoulders, back down, squeezing your shoulder blades together. I'm keeping my chin off the mat the entire time. Nice work, guys. Okay, next we have some Cossack squats. So I'm not worried about getting super low in this squat. I'm just gonna position my feet 
beyond the width of my shoulders and with my hands out in front of me to remind myself to keep my chest up right. I'm just gonna shift my weight over to one side and then stand, that's it. And then same thing on the other side. Come right back up, good. This is lateral loading on your legs and singling out the legs one side at a time. And let's do that for 30 seconds, begin. This is uh, our fourth exercise, or fourth movement really. You might be feeling a little bit warm, and that's good. But we're not looking to really elevate our heart rate too much. I'm using this just to kind of get in tune with my body and see how I feel. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice guys, last one. Oh no, two more. This next one is a single leg good morning. I have my right leg in front and my left foot back behind me. I'm gonna fold my arms across my chest and just gently lean over this front leg without moving the front knee. Okay, so notice my knee is not gonna shoot forward. I'm just gonna keep it right over the ankle and come right back up. 30 seconds on each side. And you'll feel the loading in the back of the leg on this one feels really good as far as stretching out those muscles that can get tight and short if we're sitting in a chair for too long. Okay, let's try the other side. 30 seconds and begin. Ten seconds left. Nice guys. Okay, and then last one. With my feet shoulder width apart, I'm in my squat stance. I'm gonna reach down with my hands to grab my toes, keeping my hip up high, and then gently I'm gonna lower my hips down to keep my chest upright. I'm gonna lift my hips up and stand back up. These are called bootstrap squats or king squats. They're really good, it helps me stretch out my low back. Let's do 30 seconds worth, ready and begin. Smooth, intentional movement. I'm not worried about going fast. I purposefully want to segment this movement into those two parts of reaching down and then lowering my hips and then raising my hips and standing. One more. And stand. Awesome guys. So as you can tell, just from these six movements, we really target all of your joints throughout your body, head to toe and it gives you an opportunity at a very low cost as far as time investment or energy level goes to get in tune with yourself and to make sure you're feeling good and to continue on your day with a good mindset knowing that you address self-care. Guys, thanks for joining in and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.